Hey everybody, thanks for joining me again. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to assemble these cute baskets. So let's go ahead and get started. This is the new Market Baskets die. There's three different sizes of baskets and then also liners and labels and handles for each of those. There's also a mini coordinating stamp set. This is a little $4 stamp set, which just includes several different sentiments or the label on the baskets. So I just wanted to give you a real quick overview on how to assemble these cute baskets and how all the bits and pieces work together. So there are optional liner pieces for each of the different sizes. Like I said, there's three sizes. And so there's liners and then also like a little ruffle detail for each of those three sizes. And those are of course optional. You can pick and choose what pieces you wanna use. If you wanna just create some open wire baskets, you can of course omit the liner and the ruffle. There's also a label. For the larger basket, the label consists of two layers. There's a backing which can be cut from the same material you cut your basket from, and then the little label fits inside the little tabs. And all of the sentiments from the stamp set fit on that little label. For the two smaller sized baskets, there is slightly smaller label, which is a little bit better scale for those baskets than the larger one. There is no backing for that label since it is quite small. So you will just use that smaller label on its own. And all of the sentiments from the Market Basket sentiment set do fit on that label as well. So let's go ahead and assemble one of these cute baskets. I already have all of my parts and pieces die cut. I have die cut the wire portion of the basket from some adhesive backed metallic paper. I have silver here. I'm just gonna go ahead and peel away the liner and then attach that to the liner die cut, which I have cut from some pattern paper. You could also cut it from just solid cardstock or solid cardstock and then add your own stamping to create a pattern on there if you'd like. And then we're gonna go ahead and add the ruffle to the top. I'm just going to use some liquid adhesive and attach that right along the top edge. Now there are two different size handles. The larger set goes with the larger basket. The smaller handles go with the smaller two sizes of baskets. The easiest way I found to adhere those handles is to actually turn your basket over to the back side and add just a little bit of liquid adhesive on each side of the top there, top edge, and then take those handles and just slip the little loops over top of the top edge of your basket and they should just slip kind of right on there and then you can just give them a little squeeze to adhere those to that liquid adhesive that you put on the back side. And I already have a sentiment stamped onto our little label here. I'm going to add some adhesive to that just to hold that in place. The little tabs are more of a decorative feature than a actual working uh, detail to hold those in place, you are going to need a little adhesive to keep everything in place. And then we'll just add that to our basket. So cute, you can fill it with all sorts of stamped or die cut flowers, or maybe even our Botanicuts carrots would be super cute in the large basket for maybe a thank you for a neighbor for sharing their garden goodness with you. Here I have assembled all kinds of different baskets. You could also think about trimming them down. Here I trimmed the smallest basket. I just trimmed off the bottom two wires to create just a shorter, cute little more of a tub shaped basket. So you can have fun playing around with all sorts of different liners and patterns and materials for your baskets.